Well, hello, and in this video, we are at Grass Point on the southernmost, what are we, westerly tip of uh, of Mull. And behind me, we've got the the sound of Mull just coming to an end. We've got you probably can't see it, the Lismore Lighthouse just in the distance, and just over there, behind that uh, other island, we have uh, the town of Oban on the Scottish uh, mainland. So. We came out here this morning, uh, a little bit late actually, we, we got here about 10ish, um, kind of thought we might shoot some butterflies and dragonflies and insecty things as they kind of go about their daily business and maybe a few birds, but once again it's a almost ridiculously hot day, um, it's, uh, it's in the high 20s, it's, there's no breeze, it's absolutely still and uh, yeah, the, all the bugs and dragonflies and stuff have kind of gone off to find some shelter in the shade somewhere and well out of sight so there's no there's not much bug action around so yeah back to the landscapes and um just have a look, look around this grass point as, as they call it and they've got a grass point cottage just behind us and i just thought it might just make an interesting exercise just to shoot the cottage kind of on the left hand side of the frame and with the with the sound of mull and some of the, the, the mountains in the distance so we're going to try and do that now to do this um you know it's a bright sunny day we're going to use some uh, fairly uh some fairly fastest shutter speeds but it because it's a bright day I just want to take some harsh out of the sky and maybe off that white a little bit so i am i am going to use a polarizer so once again i've got a nissi circular polarizer on the front of my camera we're going wide on this one we're going very wide actually um we're i'm shooting at 15 mil with a, a Tamron 15 to 30 mm uh, f2.8 lens, and then obviously I've got it on my Nikon D850 body. So let's let's try that. Now the interesting thing about this picture is we've got we've got the greenery in the foreground, lots of bushes and shrubs and weeds and wildflowers and, and the like. And uh, behind that we've got the sea and the mountains and the sky. Now this polarizer is going to deal with the sky a little bit, um, but the one thing we've got to deal with here, which what is this an interesting picture, is that building is white it's very white and we have got a big light source in the sky just there uh, i.e the sun and it'd be really easy just to blow that out completely and have a completely white wall and obviously that's not what we want to do so what what we have to do here it's really important in this kind of image to to look at your histogram now my camera says um the picture that it wants to take uh, will actually blow that sky out. So we'll blow the, the whiteness out of the walls and you'll just get a white a white blob. Um, if you're using some kind of aperture setting or, or shutter speed setting, what you need to do there is use, is use um, exposure compensation, probably take two to three stops off what your camera thinks that you need to do. Or the way I prefer to do it is use that histogram on manual just flick back through that histogram and take the image with a nice histogram end to end and nothing much beyond it. There's a video up here um, that shows you how to use a histogram in a bit more detail, just a link there. And uh, yeah, so let's get, let's get and take this shot. So we, we've already sort of lined it up and uh, that, this is a, a quick shot. It's um, actually of a second, uh, F20, because I want quite, quite a little de detail on the foreground. Now, F20 is quite high. Um, but I think we'll get away with it in this situation and we're on ISO 64 because it is a super bright day. Let's have a look at that image. Okay, so as we as we hoped, we've got the building on the left, we've got that brickwork nicely exposed, we can see the detail in that brick quite easily, and then off into the distance we can see the, the sound of Mull and uh, onwards to the to the mountains of the mainland of Scotland. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, then give us a, give us a thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below, and please, as always, hit that subscribe button because uh, we, we really want subscribers and you know to, to notify you of our future videos and to get you engaged and, and, uh, and join, the, uh, join the channel. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.